financial support available to care. Struggling to work while caring for your child, financial impact. There are quite a lot of expenses attached to special needs parenting. Hey guys, welcome to another Aussie Autism Family video. Once again, I wanna thank you guys so much for all of your support for our new and upcoming membership program here on YouTube. We have moved over from Patreon to YouTube and we are so excited about it, so go click that join button down below. Be part of something bigger. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about the financial support available to carers in Australia. Now, I'm no expert, but I've done my research. However, if I miss one and you guys know about any of those, comment those down below because we are here to support one another and I'm sure it will help another person out. The reason that I'm talking about the financial support today is because I believe special needs parents have a lot more financial impact than typical parents. Now this is an extreme generalization and it is definitely dependent on circumstance. However, I do believe that if you are a autism parent or a special needs parent, definitely look into the payments that I'm about to talk to you about because we need all the help we can get in order to support our children. So we're gonna start off with the government payments. So we're talking about Centrelink payments and Centrelink support payments. There are a few carer support payments through Centrelink. The first financial support from Centrelink is a carer's payment. A carer's payment provides financial help to people who are unable to work in substantial paid employment. This must be because they provide full-time daily care for either someone with severe disability or medical condition or someone who is frail aged. So the carer payment is fortnightly and it's to help meet basic costs of living. This is one that not a lot of people are entitled to. It requires a lot of evidence and a lot of reporting and filling forms out in order to get access to. I've heard that you're advised to talk about your child's worst day. It's very, very hard for us parents and carers to talk about our children in a negative light. However, if you are struggling financially or you're struggling to work while caring for your child, I definitely think this is one that you should look into. There are certain criteria and eligibility requirements for the carer's payment. I would advise you guys to look down in the description. There is gonna be a link to all of these carer's payments to check whether you are eligible for those. So the next financial support that is provided by Centrelink is called the Carer's Allowance. The Carer's Allowance is an income supplement for parents or carers providing extra daily care for either an adult or dependent child with disability or a medical condition or someone who is frail aged. So the Carer's Allowance is to assist with the additional costs of caring on top of their usual costs of daily living. So the carer's allowance is paid in addition to your wages. From what I hear, a lot more people are eligible for the carer's allowance than they are the carer's payment. And if you haven't already checked it out, definitely get on that because as we all know, there are quite a lot of expenses attached to special needs parenting. We need all the support we can get. So the carer's allowance is a fortnightly payment. I believe it's around $131 a fortnight. However, there is an annual income test for the carer's allowance, as is the, the carer's payment, I believe. From my experience, I hear a lot of people being on the carer's allowance as opposed to the carer's payment. However, it is worth looking into both of those supplements to support your child and support your family. Now there is also something called the carer's supplement. The carer's supplement is a lump sum payment. It helps with the costs of caring for a person with disability or a medical condition. The carer's supplement is an annual payment of $600, which is attached to each carer's allowance. So you can only get the supplement if you get the carer's allowance. So the and the final one from Centrelink is called the carer's adjustment payment. This is also a one-off payment. It helps families deal with the increased costs of caring for a child that is both under seven years old and has had a sudden and severe illness or accident. From what I've heard in the grapevine, the carer's adjustment payment is more for those who are not eligible for the carer's allowance or payment 
or supplement. Those are the main carers payments for children who have a disability. There are other payments that you can have access to in special circumstances, such as the child disability assistance payment. So some other things that Centrelink can help you out with is the continence aids. So if you do not get an access to NDIS funding, you can then get access to this payment, which helps eligible people with permanent and severe incontinence to pay for their incontinence products. This is separate to NDIS. So if you got NDIS funding for incontinence products, then you do not get this supplement. Something else you might have access to with Centrelink is called a healthcare card. The healthcare card allows you to get cheaper medicines and some discounts. You will automatically get a healthcare card if you get some sort of payments. For example, the carer's payment or the carer's allowance. This card is actually issued in the child's name and it is for things specific to them. So the healthcare card entitles you to cheaper prescription medications. However, there is a certain list, so some things are some medications aren't on that list and this goes under the pharmaceutical benefit scheme so i've been hearing a few different things and a lot of the medications that i hear about with children with autism aren't exactly subsidized however some are so I don't know if you guys have any experience with that, but from what I've heard, people can get discounts on parking and certain types of medication. So yeah, you just bring this card with you to the chemist whenever you go pick up your prescription medication and they will give you the subsidized amount. Now in talking about this, all of these things are for children under 16 or for carers of children under 16. So once your children turn 16, that is a whole other book. That is when they go on to the disability pension and a whole bunch of other things. I am in no way I have done no research on that, so I don't know too much about that, but what I'm talking about today is for children under 16. Now, I did want to quickly touch on the NDIS. So the NDIS is a separate sector to Centrelink. However, what Centrelink provides you, NDIS will not double up on. So NDIS always knows what you're getting from Centrelink. So they are kind of in links with each other, but they make sure that you don't double up on a support. I'm gonna go into further detail on the NDIS. Leave your comments and questions down below in the comments. In regards to the NDIS, I want to make a video on it. It is a big topic, so I would love to answer your questions for the NDIS, which is the National Disability Insurance Scheme here in Australia. If you've gotten this far in the video, comment down below the money symbol, because we're talking about finances. <laughs> Okay, so I hope that this video has helped someone out in sort of navigating all of the financial support there is available to carers in Australia. I have probably gotten something wrong, so correct me in the comments if you, if you have picked something up. But I just wanted to quickly direct you guys to the Carers Gateway. This is an amazing website. This is an amazing support in all aspects of support for carers, things to do with finances, things to do with Centrelink, things to do with respite, all of the things. So definitely go over to Carers Gateway. They have some great resources and it's almost like a one-stop shop for like looking at everything that you need to look at as a carer. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below and join us on our journey. I will have some great videos coming up soon. So subscribe down below if you aren't already so you can see our future videos. But I really hope that this has helped you out in some way. Thanks guys. Click here for another video you might like to watch or click here for our most recent upload. Click here to subscribe to our channel and join us on our journey.